Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Improve Your English with Evelyn. I'm Evelyn, your favorite English teacher. So I hear from a lot of my students that they have trouble remembering and using new vocabulary that they learn. Many of my students like learning new English words, but they seem to get frustrated when they can't remember or use these words or expressions properly when they are speaking English. So for, for that reason, I've decided to make a video to show you what is the correct method for learning new words in English and how you can use those words you already know in English in your daily conversations. I've also decided to give you a quiz at the end of this video. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end. The first reason why many language learners are not able to use the words correctly is that they only know the words passively, but they don't use these words in an activated way in their brains. So you might ask, what does active and passive mean? And how can we activate new vocabulary that we learn? This might sound like a cliche, but the only way to activate new vocabulary is to practice and keep using that word as often as you can. So my suggestion for you is to learn a few words and try to use them in conversations rather than learning a lot of words that you can't use at all. For example, imagine that you have recently learned the word certainly. So the best way to remember the word is to try to use that word in conversations as often as you can. For example, when your boss asks you if you have a few minutes to talk about the meeting, instead of answering by saying yes, try saying certainly. Or if your colleague asks if she can borrow a pen from you, instead of saying okay, you can use certainly. This will help activate that word and you will start remembering and using that word in different situations without having to think about it so much. Another important piece of advice is to try to learn the different meanings of one word in different contexts. As you might already know, many words in English can have different meanings in different contexts. As an example, in the sentence, I am going to book a flight to Paris, the word book means to reserve, whereas in the sentence, it was a very interesting book. The speaker is clearly talking about a physical book, which is a printed document on paper. Another example for words with different meanings is the word tie. Tie as a verb or action word means to fasten two ends of a string or long piece of material, but as a noun, or a person, place, or thing, it means a piece of clothing that men normally wear around their necks on a shirt. For example, in the sentence, I tied my shoelaces, it is used as a verb, and it refers to the first meaning of the word. However, in the sentence, Tom is wearing a blue tie today, Tie is functioning as a noun, and it has the second meaning that I just explained. Another useful tip to keep in mind when learning new vocabulary is to learn its collocations. Now you might be wondering, what is a collocation? A collocation is when some words go together. For example, the verb that collocates with the noun mistake is make. So it's only correct to say to make a mistake. So we can only use certain verbs or adjectives with each noun or certain adverbs with each verb. For example, we can use adverbs strongly or highly with the verb recommend. For example, I can say, I highly recommend watching that movie. There are dictionaries that are called collocation dictionaries available that you can use to find out what verbs or adjectives collocate with different nouns. Or you can simply use the internet to find the correct collocations for each word. 
Something else that you should be mindful of when learning new vocabulary is to learn the words with, with all of their parts of speech. Parts of speech are all different grammatical rules of words, such as noun, verb, adjective, adverbs, and sometimes synonyms and antonyms. For instance, imagine that you have recently learned the verb decide. For example, you can say, I have decided to buy a new car. You can also learn other parts of speech for this verb. So the noun for decide is decision. The verbs that collocate with decision are make and take. For example, I can say, my dad always makes decisions for our holidays. And the adjective is decisive, which means someone who can make good decisions. For example, I can say, Tom is a very decisive individual. The antonym for dec decisive is indecisive, which means someone who's not able to make decisions and is uncertain. For example, I can say, I am kind of indecisive where we should go for food tonight. So, as you can see, we can learn four different parts of speech for one word and also verbs that collocate with them. All right, so it's quiz time. Now we're going to have a quick recap of the things that we've just learned in this video by answering some of the following questions. Number one, what are collocations? Collocations are words that go together. For example, verbs with nouns. For example, make a choice. Adjectives and nouns, rash decision. Adverbs and adjectives. For example, abundantly clear. Adverbs and verbs. For example, highly suggest. Number two, what are parts of speech? So, parts of speech are the grammatical functions that words have, such as verb, noun, adjective, adverb, articles, and prepositions. Number three, how can we activate the words that we already know? We can activate the words that we already know by trying to use them in different situations in our everyday life. We can also activate these words by learning their different meanings in various contexts. So there you have it. There are some useful tips and tricks to help you remember and use the words that you already know. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.